Hello and welcome to Shortcuts, the official show from Lightworks where we teach you how to do something cool in your Lightworks video editor in two minutes or less. My name is David Winter, I'm a video editor here at Lightworks and you might remember in the last Shortcuts of 2021 we showed you how to render a video clip that's got a lot of effects on it. If you didn't catch that video go back here, it'll be floating somewhere around here. Give that a watch now because it's directly relevant to this video and then come back to this one. So people have gone ahead, they've rendered their clip, they've rendered their effects onto their clip, but then we've had the question come in. This is great, it sped things up loads for me, but I can no longer access the effects I put on the clip if I want to tweak something. Don't worry, there's a very simple fix for that called reconfiguring, and that's what I want to show you today. So two minute timer up on the screen now, and off we go. Okay, so here you can see a clip that I've rendered previously. It's got a pretty heavy duty effect on it, so I rendered it to make sure that it would play correctly in my timeline. The result of this, however, is if we go to the settings tab in the effects panel, you can see there's nothing here. That's because when I rendered this clip, all of the effects became baked in. And for all intents and purposes, this exists in an entirely new clip where the effects were already there and therefore aren't editable. So all we're going to do, and this obviously might be the easiest thing I ever show you how to do in a shortcuts, is we're going to right click on the clip and click the reconfigure button. There we go, as simply as that, it's essentially undone the render. So the clip now exists in its original form with the effects sitting on top of it rather than being baked in. So as a result, we can now go into the settings part of the effects tab and play around with these, tweak the effects if we want. Once you're done, you could once again right click and click render, go through that whole process from the previous video. Maybe you're thinking that sounds like a bit of a chore though, or you liked it how it was before you hit the reconfigure button. Don't worry. If we go back to our clips folder here, you can see that the rendered version actually exists as a separate clip to the original footage. So you could simply drag this down into your timeline and you'd have it back how it was when you'd rendered it before you hit reconfigure. Any clip you render will do the same thing. It will appear here as a separate clip. So you can do as many of these as you want. But the main takeaway here is if you render something and need to undo it for whatever reason, you can simply right click and hit reconfigure and you're good to go. Like I said, super simple, but a really handy thing to know if you're doing lots of effects heavy video editing. So hopefully that will be helpful for you moving forward. Please don't forget to like and subscribe if you did find it useful. Leave a comment in the comment section below. Let us know how you've got on with that or if you get stuck at all. And we'll catch you on the next episode of Shortcuts. Thanks for watching.